Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com forward slash rive to receive the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Microsoft has gotten a lot of attention this week for its potential investment in OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, which really wowed the world in late 2022. But I think it's important to put this potential investment of $10 billion into context and look at why Microsoft would be doing this and what the impact on its business would be. Because I think this could be another brilliant move by Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, but maybe not for the reasons that investors think. I am Travis William. Thank you for watching Rive Investing. Please subscribe to this channel here on YouTube and give this video a like. Share it with anybody you think would be interested in this. So here is the big rumor of the week that Microsoft is going to be investing $10 billion in OpenAI. Now, we don't quite know the terms, and OpenAI has a little bit of a unique structure because it was started as a nonprofit. There was then a capped profit investment that Microsoft participated in, investing about a billion dollars in the company. The rumors are at the end of the day, Microsoft could get its money back from this investment and then also own about 49% of open AI. We will see what the details will look like when this comes out, but I think it is clear that the ties between open AI and Microsoft are going to increase. That makes sense for a number of reasons. One is that open AI needs a lot of money to both build the models that it's making and compute each one of these requests that customers are doing. So every time you type something into chat GPT, the model has to run, it costs a few cents. That may not be a big deal on a one-off basis, but you're talking about millions of computations over time. So supposedly the company is losing two to $3 million per day. They just simply need the money to keep operating. There are only a handful of companies who could provide up to $10 billion to open AI. And if you think about them, a lot of them don't make any sense. Book has its own AI unit. Google acquired DeepMind, and that is supposedly already building an AI model that should be at least as profitable as OpenAI, if not more profit profitable. Apple is integrating stable diffusion into some of its products. And Amazon is one of Microsoft's biggest competitors in the cloud space. So OpenAI and Microsoft already have these ties from a previous round of investment. So it makes sense that Microsoft would come back again. This is really the natural company for OpenAI to partner with. But what does Microsoft get out of it besides investing in a new startup? We're already just starting to see some of the impacts. Bing is using OpenAI for an image generator in that search engine. GitHub Copilot is an assistant, an artificial intelligence assistant for programmers. OpenAI is using Azure for its cloud services. So this could be a cloud service that now customers would be building on top of. I think that would be a real win for Microsoft if they can put themselves in a position where Open AI is this foundation that a lot of startups and companies are building on top of. And then they naturally do that on Azure instead of something like AWS because of this relationship that they have with Open AI. And then there's Microsoft 365. Something like ChatGPT makes a ton of sense to integrate into an Office product like Microsoft 365. So you can help you write emails or take notes, get pieces of information that maybe are unique to your company. I think there are gonna be a lot of ties there and an increasing number of ties between OpenAI and the Microsoft 360 line of products. But the long-term impact may be on some products that we're not necessarily thinking about right now. I think Bing is a great example of that. Bing has clearly lost the search engine war to Google and that's not gonna change anytime soon. They're not gonna be able to compete with Google with a similar product. So that's out the window. So how do you compete and potentially disrupt Google? Will you com come to the market with a completely new product like ChatGPT? Now, a Bing version of ChatGPT, some sort of AI powered service may look a little bit different than ChatGPT, may even look different than Google, but it has the potential to be a new growth product and a new way to search for information on the internet. I think that could be a huge win for Microsoft as part of this partnership with OpenAI. The other thing that I have not heard a lot of people talk about is the model itself. Models like the one built by OpenAI take in a ton of information from the public. Some of that information is copyrighted. We don't yet know what the legal framework of the outputs of these AI models, whether it's images or texts, whether those pieces of information are copyrighted, whether the people who inspired that information when we're part of going into that model need to be compensated in some way. There simply aren't answers for that. And it may be years before we find that out. What company has a ton of information that they own that they could build an AI model on top of? That is Microsoft. I would not be surprised to see Microsoft retrain an open AI model 
with its own data to avoid some of that copyright risk, especially if they're integrating this into office products or products they're going to be serving to customers that are going to generate hundreds of millions, potentially billions of dollars. They simply can't take that kind of risk that there's going to be a copyright lawsuit in the future. I think that it's possible given Microsoft's involvement with OpenAI already that they're going to basically rebuild this model with information that they know that they own. No matter how you slice it, Microsoft integrating its relationship with OpenAI is a big win. It gets the company at least to the point where it's competitive with some of the leading AI companies in the space like Alphabet, like Facebook. And given Microsoft's business model, it may be taking a step ahead too. What do you think about this one? What do you think about what do you think about Microsoft's relationship with OpenAI and the potential of them working together more in the future? I would love to hear your comments in the comments section below. Follow Rive Investing and give this video a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again here next time.